hello everyone my name is Gaurav and welcome to my channel GTEC Funda in my previous video I have shown you how to download and install Oracle Tenji in your system today I am going to introduce SQL and tell some basic facts about SQL okay then get let's get started I have just made the presentation of this so that it will be easier for you to both make notes as well as learn from it okay let's see what was the history about SQL SQL was initially called SQL it was not known as SQL it was known as SQL and its full form is structure English query language and was designed it was first designed by a group of IBM San Jose research laboratory persons generally for the purpose of manipulation as well as retrieving of data stored in a database you just remember this date although this is not required for you just this is a basic knowledge for you and its first version was released in 1986 by Oracle and its recent release was in 2016 that is Oracle 12c okay before knowing about SQL we must know what is a database and what is a database management system that is DBMS so we can say that a database is a centralized location it's like wherever we whenever we need to store anything we need to store in a particular location that's what a database is a database is a centralized location where we can store all our important data and what kind of data data kind can be any kind of data that is a character or a string or an integer or a boolean anything as we store data in our external or internal memory like a pen drive or a hard drive and transfer data from our system to another but we can't edit data that is the problem with this pen drive and hard drive we can only store but we can't retrieve or modify or delete or insert but this is the speciality of database that we can do all these functions like retrieving data modifying data deleting inserting and many more things we'll be seeing it later that what we can do by using a database okay let's see what is DBMS I'm just showing you little bit I'm showing you everything in short later I will be explaining you the whole thing what is a DBMS DBMS is responsible for all these operations although there are many many functions of a DBMS but generally these are some basic important functions of a DBMS that is storing data, assessing data, modifying data, and removal of data. DBMS acts as an, remember this is a very important point that you need to remember, the DBMS acts as an intermediate between user and database. Okay, a user gives some command, like when a user needs to fetch some data, from the database it's the DBMS who plays the major role it's like the user asks the DBMS that give me this information then the DBMS fetches this information from the database and gives it to the user see this user gives asks some information from the DBMS the DBMS fetches result from the database this database gives this result to DBMS, then DBMS gives this result to 
the user. This is how the cycle goes on. Why I have written here relational, I will be telling it later. For now, you just you just remember this word relational. Types of DBMS. There are generally three types of DBMS. HDBMS, NDBMS and RDBMS. What is HDBMS? Hierarchical Database Management System. For that, I will be just showing you a screen in which you can see yeah, this one. These are like the form in which data are stored in a HDBMS system. These are called the tree structure in which data are stored in a system. So what happened is that when we want to retrieve a data like T8 from a database, then firstly we have to at first we have to retrieve D1, then D2, then D5. Finally we will be getting D8. So this uh, this is a lot of problem in there is a lot of problem in assessing so many datas. I am just I have just shown like these many datas. Suppose there were hundred datas, then we have to retrieve all the hundred datas. It would take so much time as well as it's not convenient using that one. So what was that HDMMS failed in this and it was inefficient using HDMMS so we stopped you we HDMMS was not used for this database then what was that NDBMS was released network database management system there was a certain improvement in the database system in this database system is like here I'm showing you that what changes were brought in NDBMS like here this data 1 data 2 data 3 data 4 all are interconnected with each other so retrieving data was was okay retrieving there was no problem in retrieving of data but what happened when we want to insert a data there was a problem like suppose there was 100 data in that in that again if you in, want to insert a data then that single data has to be connected with that 100 data in order so this was like not efficient using that finally there was RDBMS relational database management system this was quite convenient and uh, it was efficient using this so we'll only see and study about RDBMS because HDBMS and uh, NDBMS what I have showed you were inefficient for SQL so you'll be learning about RDBMS. RDBMS is basics, basis for SQL and all modern database system. All modern database system only uses RDBMS but no other database management system. And uh, there, as I am going to show you just Oracle 10G database system, uh, database, but uh, here there are many uh, many many databases like ms sql server ibm db2 mysql ms access the data in an rdbms is stored in the database object which are called tables these tables is basically a collection of related data in trees and it consists of many columns and rows okay how is the data stored in RDBMS 
it i am going to show you suppose this is the the following below is an example of an employee table so see here there are employee number e name e name is actually the employee name job salary and these are the employee number these are the names these are the the designations these are the salaries so what we call these first of all then these e employee number e name job salary these are called the entities these are called the entities and whatever features or whatever data inside a entity it is called attribute these are the attributes of employee number these are the attributes of e name these are the attributes of job these are the attributes of salary so you might have got what is entity and what is attribute okay and each 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 column has some relation with it with this like this is the employee number of smith this is this is the designation of smith and this is the salary of smith like clerk gets this much rupees so every everything has a relation that's why we call it relational database management system relational so everything must have a relation then only it's possible in a rdbms so now we'll see what is a sql what is sql sql there is difference between sql and mysql sql is a language and mysql is a database remember this one many times a question is asked in interviews that what is sql and what is mysql okay SQL is a language used to communicate with database in form of queries. Okay, uh, generally we we need to communicate with a computer not by our normal language but computer language. So SQL is a computer language for storing, manipulating, and retrieving data stored in a relational database. Uh, we have a uh, different type of database in the market which I have told you that MySQL Server, DB, IBM DB2, Oracle, MS, MS Access, etc. The recent version of Oracle is 11G and 12C. SQL is a case sensitive language. You can type anything in any case, it will have no problem. It can x uh, it can fetch data so uh, so it's a not case sensitive language you can give any write in upper case or lower case doesn't matter to it each sql query ends with a semicolon until unless you give a semicolon that query doesn't ends that is the basic thing you should remember in sql okay now i'm going to show you generally what happens in a company suppose there is a customer abc who wants to create his database so at first he will contact the business analysis of their com of that company we will take this business analysis will take all the requirement from the customer and he will requirement in the sense suppose these are the employee number e name job salary that what what the things he needs in a database so he will take all the requirement from the customer and talk about the money matter and all those things and this business analysis will give all the requirement to the db developer that is the database developer 
the database developer will create the ER diagram first then he will create the request the the database for the customer according to his requirement what is the ER diagram is that he will create a relational uh, entity relation diagram like an like employee what does an employee number have relation with the e name what does the e name has a relation with this job like uh, what is this job uh, has relation with salary like here employee number like m like smith has employee number this and smith's designation is clerk smith gets rupees smith earns rupees 800 like this is the uh, generally the relation between so he will create the er diagram then then do then create the database for the customer sub languages of sql we will see these five sub languages of sql generally these two covers 90 percent of this syllabus 90 percent of this syllabus and these three are only for 10 percent mostly we will be doing queries by using these 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 two only like select clause has a huge application and we will see it in our next class thanks for watching if you like the video please like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more videos